Okay, I'm continuing on my uh, troubleshooting journey of this thr low throttle response, and um, I've decided to remove this actuator off the governor here, and I'm going to take it apart and inspect it. It's probably got some crud in it, needs to be rebuilt. So you can see where this attached. Obviously this, this is not stock. This has been added on here, looks like, to me anyways. This extra piece sticking off here. So I got this thing off and, you know, there was some concern or comments and some of the folks that uh, are on the channel about, you know, this spring inside here being possibly busted. <laughs> No, the spring in here is not busted because this is stronger than I can pull, like, you know, to retract. This is in a fully retracted position right now. I can't pull that by hand. So the spring strength on this is like, you know, 75 pounds or something like that. I'd need to put it in a vise and really yank on it. So the spring is intact inside there. Okay, so working on getting the throttle pedal off, and in order to get access to these four bolts that hold it down, we had to remove the pedal off the top. And we did that by driving the pin out that's on this lower, you know, where, where the pedal rotates. We drove that pin out towards the brake pedal. It just barely cleared. And the whole thing just lifts off there. This um, this is flipped up here. This like that, and then there's a wheel on the bottom of the pedal that rides on that right there. So that's pretty clever. Unfortunately, the other side of those bolts is in a very inconvenient location underneath the driver's seat, way back in the bowels of the tool compartment. So I have a helper here, and she's going to work the easy part on the top, and I'm going to work the hard part on the tool compartment. And we're going to try and extract those four bolts. So the other end that we've been working on here is past all that business back there. I to reach back in there with an extension in the socket, and we got those four out. And we're going to see about lifting it out of there and see if the air connection is going to come off because the supply connection is on the bottom. You see how that comes out if we got to undo it from here or above, if I can get it from above. Okay, so we got the pedal out and we got the mm, throttle, diaph diaphragm, whatever you want to call that piece that goes on the governor out. And we're going to bench test this and see what happens. Go ahead and press down the pedal. Let go. Still retracting slowly, see that? Now I do see now some caulking here, which tells me this may be the culprit here on this end. Yeah, this should, uh, this should travel straight. Hopefully we're getting that on the camera. So there's some slop in that. Let it fully retract. So that was like five seconds. Like that was like an eternity for that to come back. So um, what I'm gonna do is I'm gonna take both these parts to Brick Systems Inc. here in Portland. Fortunately, they're local to me, so I can just walk in there and go, all right guys, what do you think I need to do here? And have them sell me what I need, bring them back and rebuild them. I might just rebuild them both just because I got them out, but, you know, I don't know if that's necessary. I have a hunch the problem is right here. Okay, this is the new one.
much better, right? So um, they do not, this is made in China. Um, they do not sell all the parts to rebuild this, only the seals and O-rings. And the old one, um, there's a bushing that's shot in here. You know, if you watch the earlier video, you'll see this, this is rocking here. Um, this one, this one's tight. Doesn't, it doesn't have that, that problem. So I think it's going to be a lot better. So I got to get this cruise control adapter thing off my old one and I'm using a check valve to hold the air in here <laughs> so that it can keep this extended. Um, give me a little more room to work there. It's not clear looking at this quite yet how this installs. This whole thing spins and it doesn't, it doesn't appear to be threaded all the way through. You know, this end's threaded, it appears to be double nutted, but uh, yeah, I gotta figure out how that goes on because that appears to be slightly different than the new one. Maybe, maybe not, we'll see. So I couldn't figure out how to get this thing apart. So I called the guy that used to make these Fortunately, I met him at a, a GM rally, and there's an Allen inside there that you got to put. Let's see if I can get a light. Yeah. There's an Allen in there. There you go. Now you can see it. You stick an Allen on that, and it'll keep the thing from spinning so you can undo it. So we'll see how that goes. Turn. And I guess it, it does turn, but man, it's, it's got some meat to it there. So where it is is important, right? Because that's, you know, that's your... Um, your zero, your idle position. So, um, yeah, I need to, I need to somehow mark that or maintain that. I'm gonna see if I can move this up. It's unclear to me whether this. So that's why I needed the air in it, was to get this clearance for the wrench in here. So I don't know if that threaded rod exists under here or if that comes out with it. I guess I'll take the new one apart and see what that's like because that's that's going to be the ticket there. <clears throat> so 
So the threaded rod is there. So shit, that, that distance is critical, right? That distance that it's screwed down onto the rod is, that's pretty important to maintain that because that's my idle and that's gonna be my full, you know, that's gonna make sure I get full throttle. So, I think I might see if I can measure this with my my calipers or something. Okay, I stuck this thing on my surface plate and I'm using a height gauge. And it's 5.340, um, you know, to the inside of that curve, roughly. Here's another way to measure it. Now, of course, you know, there's going to be inconsistencies in this casting from one to the other, but um, you know, this is uh, 0.535. So, you know, that's within 50 thou, what I was reading over there, 534. And, you know, these are slotted. <laughs> so, there's going to be some tweaking involved here, but I'll, that'll get a close, and we'll, we'll see. So back to unscrewing. Uh, this guy's got some resistance to coming off. What's going on here, man? Man, that's really fighting me. Okay, I stuck that in my vise, so one last thing I'm fighting here. Taking a lot of force to turn this, kind of. I think I'm gonna hit this with some PB or something because something doesn't seem right.
boy, oh boy. I feel like I'm gonna break something here. There it goes. Man. That's not good. The threads are gone on the end of this and they're boogered up inside here. The threads are freaking boogered up inside this thing. Let's see if I can get it. So I'm gonna have to see if I have the right tap for that. And See if I can chase those threads. It's soft aluminum. That explains why that was so hard to twist off of there. This nut's got to come off. Probably will. Just kind of checking it out on the nut first, because that's disposable if I need to get another one, which I might anyways. Um, so chase that thread. This is the critical piece here. I just want to start it into the existing threads without cross-threading it in any way. Because I'm just wanting to chase them, right? So just finger tight. <laughs> Crunch. Yeah, come on. It's not... Let's not have a problem here.
I just gotta run it down till it stops because it's gonna bottom out in here. I think that's it. Feels a lot better. Is a lot better. So that went on nice. Well, you don't want to go further than that depth, right? I mean, maybe that's what causes threads to be boogered up right because it was um it was 0.46 something or other 460 something thou let me check that again four four five six right so Just about there right now. Yeah, okay, I can't go that far. I'm gonna I mean can't fully bottom it out anyway, so See about that. Let's see how that works. Okay. So now the final height and adjustment's going to have to be, you know, measured, right? So I was saying that. Overall was um, 5.5 5 inches, 3.45. I'm gonna have to go back and look at the video, right? I'll verify here, but. So that's 5.365. So it's got to go in another 20 thou, right? And then it's got to rotate to be aligned correctly, right? So and this is where I need the Allen wrench, I guess. But I do not want to make this overly tight because that will strip the threads out. Yeah, I mean, that's like, that, that's literally it. Those threads are bottomed out right there. So you don't want to do that. I'm just going to back it off a little bit there. Yeah. So I'll, I'll double nut that in a minute when I'm, you know, happy with where it is. Because I think the rest of the adjustment's going to have to come from the slot. So that's 5-3. Eight. So that's further out by about 40 thou, as I recall. I have to check the video. So I'm making the final adjustments here on the governor. So this is 
this is the idle position here. And I've just, I've just about got this bottomed out on the shaft and I gotta see these screw holes, these slots, they appear to be um, just about maxed out on their adjustment back, which would potentially indicate, oh, okay, yeah, that's fine, right there, right? That, that one fits in. Let me see if the other one fits in there. Motor screw fits in the slot here, hopefully, yep. So, you know, rotationally, that's probably right about where we want it. And that's a good place for those. It's just a teeny. It's fully retracted. So I'm gonna go ahead and lock that nut right there in that position. rotationally we're still in the same place yeah and it seems okay oh now when that comes out that's gotta do the right thing so there is a it's gotta travel in that slot so that that alignment you know that thing moves in an arc well it's going to be kind of hard to get that totally perfect right I have a film that's what wore my bushings out in that old one because I noticed this you see that rock that's induced there So I've got to put the air fittings on this and do some other monkeying around before I'm satisfied with where we're at on that. So I just got back from the auto parts store, Napa. I got a new one of these fittings because somebody had rounded it and I wanted to replace it while I had it all out in case I needed to work on this in the future or I would be able to do it and it was in there so bad that I had to disassemble this stick it in a vise and use a socket on it to get it off and um, it actually had uh, you know, there was like the very first thread had peeled off of it. There was some thread inside here that I had to dig out. So yeah, I got a new one of these. I'm hoping that that's uh, gonna be a little better. I think I might put some Teflon tape on this because 
this has been abused. They obviously were having some trouble getting this thing to seal up. Just gonna get these finger tight and then work on the final positioning here in a second. Not a lot of room back here. Fingertips only. the washer on, I feel. Get the nuts started. I feel. Hopefully. Come on. There we go. Okay. I'm going to need my ratcheting opening box in, I think, for this. So what I'm working on here is the angle of this. I'm trying to find the optimal position for this. I mean, I don't think it gets any better than where it is right now. There's a little bit of a rock to it there which you know really this should be like slightly banana shaped you know to really uh, make that work a little better I think for those of you that don't know this this has got cruise control here and so this is slotted so that the cruise can operate without needing to tug on the heavy spring that's inside this so the cruise control can function and then this can extend and, you know, go faster than what the cruise says to do, of course. Works just like 
a car. The spring is in the way. A moment here. Get this off. think I want that super tight just yet. I want to just make sure nothing's binding up. snug already so you can see there's just a little teeny bit of rock on that arm there but I don't think I can do much about that I guess the question is when this is extended Is that putting a crank on this diaphragm, you know? So I think I'm gonna hook up the lines here and apply some air to it so we can observe that. Okay, so what we're going to do is observe how this tracks with air, because I can't actuate this by hand. It's a pretty strong string, so I'm going to get my air. Let me get that little piece of hose. It'll be easier.
So when it first starts out, it's moving in a downward trajectory a little bit there. And then as it comes, you know, it kind of comes back. So I wonder, I wonder if it would be preferable to give it kind of a little, a little twist like that, maybe. I have this thing. You know, I have a milling machine. I could probably change that slot or make a different one, but I think that's okay. I'm gonna go ahead and tighten it up. Okay, take this little piece out, put the real one in, the screen one comes from the front, shove that in there nice and deep, that's it for back, I'm going to hook up the spring. Okay, so I guess that's it for here. I gotta get the throttle pedal installed. That's a nightmare job. I think I'm gonna take a break before I tackle that. It's gonna be extra fun because it's just way up in the hell hole here. And it's at the you know, like the furthest extent of what I can like possibly reach with my hands. So, oh, hold on. I need to get my knee pads on. Okay, we're working on putting the throttle pedal in. And that requires two people one up on top to hold the other end of the bolts and whatnot, and the other one underneath here to put them on. And uh, it's gonna be very difficult.
I still gotta get eyes on it, then I can't see it again. <clears throat> it's at the extent of my reach. Reaching in here as far as I can to do this. Oh, you piece of shit. Come on. <laughs> okay. I gotta get my wrench on it. So we had to take the pedal off in order to get access to those four bolts. Now we got to put the pedal back on. And there's a spring and a pin. And we got to get this pin started. And we got to get it lined up with the spring. So it passes through the two springs. That looks good so far. correct that mirror angle showing up in the camera no. probably pretty hard to get it the other light in here.
Just making sure things are staying lined up as I'm driving this through there. Okay, now there's some little sir clips that have to go on here to retain it. Where are those at? Underneath your crossbow. They're like kind of on top of them. Ah, oh, here they are. Okay. So there's one that just goes right here in this groove. side. Okay, so now we got to put this on. This this plate goes on here, but I want to vacuum this crud up before we do that. We got to start and air up the bus. Doubles is a fast idle on this bus. You can hear that turbo a little bit. came back kind of slow. Let's try it with the engine off. Okay, so call out on and off as you do the full throttle each time, okay? Do it. Okay, go on and hold it there for me for a second. Okay, we've got full throttle. Okay, go off. off. Okay, it's, you know, it's retracting quickly. I think everything is good now. You do it a few more times and in between too, just. Go like half throttle. Huh? Do like half throttle. Okay, let off. Okay. All right. I think it's working good. 